Grandma, hi, it's me, Ashley. Um, I just called for April. Um, when April, when you get home, um, either I'll call my mom on Monday, you know, about coming over. Or I'll call, call when you get home. If it's late, late, late tonight, like at 12, um, don't call. But if it's in your area, call me, okay? I love you, April. Love you, Grandma. Bye. April, it's me again, and I know you guys are probably home, but I'm just really anxious because, you know, I really want you to come over tomorrow, you know, and send me a sneaker or something like that. And so I'm here with, um, well, I'm leaving my phone number, 552-552, I'm repeating it over again, okay, listen, 552-5317, you know, 1, 552-5317 for, you know, what I know. But, um, you know, make sure you call me, um, you know, because it's tomorrow, I'm going to be home with my mama, you know, if you're calling me, but I want you to be home when I get home, you know, okay? Mm. Hi, Donna, and sorry I had to call again, I forgot to leave you my phone number. Bye. Hello. Love you. Love you. Ashley, uh, this is your grandmother. Um, I'm answering the call that you made uh, to us. On um, you made the call to April and your grandmother on May the 16th, 1993. Uh, we were not home. We had uh, we were still on the road. But we did receive your call as as soon as we got home. But as you said, don't call if it's too late. So we didn't call. But this is a little recording of your voice on the recorder. And it, I really loved it. And so did April. And I hope you like uh, hearing the recording. It's lots of fun. So I'm sending this to you on the 17th of May, 1993. Love you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Hi, Ashley. Uh, this is your grandmother again, and of course you know this is Grandmother Erlene. And I just... Uh, after I listened uh, to the recording, I wanted to add a few things. Uh, what was so uh, really nice was that you must have been calling rather late because we didn't get home until, uh, oh, around 11.30. And uh, it was probably almost 12 o'clock before we got your message. But each time that you called back, your voice was getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and you were getting sleepier and sleepier and sleepier. <laughs> and uh, we were tired, too, when we got home. But I just thought that this was a priceless tape, and I wanted you to have this, uh, you know, to keep forever. And uh, this, this is a conversation that we're having back and forth, that when I'm, uh, you know, not with you any longer, uh, you can pick it up and say, this is my grandmother, Erlene Beckham. And it was all made on uh, May the 17th, 1993. And I just thought it was so great. I just had to make this part of our records for time and all eternity. And um, as I said before, um, I just love you very much. And uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. And... Uh, April picked up your 
uh, or April picked up. I made a mistake. Your daddy picked up April uh, this morning. Of course, we're all just slightly tired after traveling over the weekend. But we were down uh, to see April's father in Fresno, and we went to his uh, reopening, uh, grand opening of his new computer store and spent the weekend with them. And uh, we brought back a lot of nice tapes from all the uh, family photographs uh, that have spanned over 100 years. And I'll be getting some copies to all of you on these. And uh, uh, when we got home that night, it was just so nice to hear your voice on the recording. And you were so thoughtful and so sweet. Uh, we just loved it, and I just had to add a little postscript to uh, my former message. And uh, we'll have to all get together and go out and have one of those good burritos that you like, uh, Ashley. And uh, April likes them, too. We uh, did a repeat of what you and I did that one day, and we'll all three of us get together and do that soon. So I uh, have to get to work now because this is the day after the trip. And uh, so I'll be talking to you real soon, and I love you more than you love me, so just keep that in mind, and uh, I'll be uh, seeing you soon. Bye now. Hi now. This is your cousin April, Ashley. Uh, Grandma wanted me to get on this, this tape and tell you what I thought about um, your messages that you left. I thought they were real cute. And we got a, we had a good time listening to them. Um, I hate to leave. I wish I could come and live with you forever, but I have to go back to Florida in a few days. So maybe you can come down sometime and go to the beach with me. That'd be fun. When I come back, we'll have to go up that hill again that we kept riding the bikes down. This time we're going to wear some helmets because that was a little bit steep. Okay, I'm back. Grandma keeps coming in trying to find some pantyhose to wear, and I can't finish what I'm trying to say. Okay. If I don't get to see you this Christmas, let's see, this is May 21st, 1993, um, then I'll come back probably the first of next summer because I did have a good time staying over at your house. And I want to see you again because you're my, you're my youngest cousin, and I love you very much and um, I hope sometime let's see when I come back maybe we can me and you and grandma get together and do something and Jennifer too she'll come um, well I'm gonna go but I'm I just want to tell you that I, I enjoyed staying with you this this time that I've been here and I'm gonna miss you a whole bunch and I want you to write me okay bye bye I'm back again. I had to leave a little postscript like Grandma did. I'm going to go in there and see if Grandma will come in here and talk for a while. So hold on just a minute. I'll be right back. Hi, Ashley. Uh, this is Grandma. I'm laying on the bed letting the eardrops <laughs> roll out of my ears. And April and I are, are here together. She just finished making a little tape for you, uh, left a little message for you. So I don't know what she said. She won't let me listen to it. So uh, she's filing her fingernails now, and I'm laying here trying to get the drops out of my ear. So now here's April. She's going to say something to you. Here's April. <laughs> here's Grandma. Well, April is, she just doesn't want to talk. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question now. <laughs> well, April, where are you going uh, tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she just won't stop laughing, Ashley. Well, where are we going? Where are we going tomorrow? <laughs> 